I decided to take one for the mm -hmm. team. This mm -hmm. was for me about public service because you know I didn't really mm -hmm. want to have that mammogram. Um, and just a few short weeks later, words I never expected to hear, I was told that I have breast cancer. Let's hear the emotion in Amy Robach's voice there. Again, on Monday, Good Morning America's Amy Robach announced, you just heard it there, she was diagnosed with breast cancer after reluctantly agreeing to have the on-air mammogram last month. Well, again, thank God she did. That decision helped save her life and will likely help save the lives of others. And today, Amy is undergoing her double mastectomy. So, Kira Phillips joining us again. It is an inspiring story. You know, yeah. when you think, and especially when it was Robin Roberts who kind of gave her that nudge to have the testing done. Oh, I remember when one of my co-anchors in another market, she was doing a, a piece on, you know, how you can see the whole inside of your body. It was one of those special x-rays you could pay for. And she found out she had lung cancer because she had been a smoker all her life. I mean, it's just wow. things you do as a journalist. You know, it, it's pretty, pretty mind-boggling. But it brings the subject back up mm -hmm. and we always need to talk about Which it. Is a good thing, it yeah. happens to far too many women. Andrea Farrell is just two years younger actually than Amy and she was a new mom when she was given uh, the same devastating news that she had breast cancer. Well later on she discovered that she carried the breast and ovarian cancer gene also known as BRCA1 the same as Angelo Angelina Jolie. You remember the big cover story with Angelina and that she wrote a column about it. Well Andre Angelina Andrea also had a double mastectomy and reconstructing, re reconstructive surgery, rather. And joining me uh, now is former NFL cheerleader for the Indianapolis Coach and survivor, Andrea Farrell. So, Andrea, you know, describe that moment that you got your diagnosis. I mean, that moment that no one ever wants to come. Absolutely. It was a complete shock, and I felt like I was looking at someone else's life. I was too young. I was too healthy. I was too active. I was a new mom, so it couldn't happen to me, but unfortunately it did, and cancer doesn't discriminate. Hey, Andrea, it's Michael Lanos here. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, and as Kira said, it's, it's so important to continue this conversation. Hey, tell us about your fighting spirit, and there's a scene where you're shaving your own head. Uh, I mean, why was that significant to you and helped show the fight in your heart? Absolutely, Mike. It was important to me because going through the process of breast cancer, undergoing chemotherapy, even the double mastectomy and reconstructive surgery, you're so limited at what you can control. And one thing I could control was shaving my head. I, I didn't want to watch my hair fall out. Um, as you said, I, I am a former NFL cheerleader, so looks had been important to me. Um, and that was something I could uh, be empowered by, shaving my own head. Um, so that, along with my attitude, was the, the other thing that I could control. So keeping a positive attitude, knowing that um, I was fortunate because I did have a chance to go through treatment and beat this thing, and that's what I've done. And you have the BRCA1 gene and made the decision to have the double mastectomy. I mean, that's gotta not, that, that can't be an easy decision, but it was a life-saving one. Absolutely, and um, and I'm also going to undergo a hysterectomy uh, in December as well because I do have the BRCA1 gene, um, which also means I have a 50% chance of ovarian mm -hmm. cancer. So taking that control into my hands as well and being preventative. Yeah, and ovarian cancer, I mean, that's how I lost my grandmother. You, you don't know you no, have it right. until it's too late. That's well, right. It's the silent killer. Um, and, and then the same thing with uh, with mammograms. It's so important. And I applaud Amy. I applaud Angelina. I applaud um, all of these wonderful women who are giving this a voice and, and letting people know that it doesn't matter how old you are. You need to do self-exams. You need to get your mammograms. You need to take your medical history into your own hands and have that knowledge. Uh, you know, the clock's run out on us, but I just want to let everybody know about the, the, what you're doing to help women going through this. You have a special bra, Blush Life Apparel, and basically it's for after the mastectomy and before the reconstruction, and it's special. And, and again, it's, it, I, I just think that what you're saying, your theme is you're taking control, and not only for yourself, but you're helping other women do the same. So we applaud you. Thank you so much for uh, sharing your story. Uh, so important to get out there and uh, uh, just let other women know they're not alone and that there is strength really uh, in numbers for all this. Thanks again, Andrea. Thanks, Andrea. We really appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, Thank you. Right.